Okay, guys, thanks for joining us. Joining us, we do this every Thursday. We are, we've got a special guest today, um, and I'm super excited to hear from Stacy, Senior Executive Director, um, top income earner in Canada. I don't know what number, but I know it's she's up there. Three, number three. I knew she was I'll probably dropped to four behind Jess this year, but three right now. So I'm <laughs> so hanging awesome. on to it. She knows, she knows what she's doing in Monate, guys, and this will be a terrific training from her, and I'll let her introduce the training, and with that, uh, Stacey Heidman, thank you so much for coming on and doing this, and take it away. Hi, guys. Um, hi, Erin. Hi, everybody. Um, okay, so I'm just kind of going to go over some things that I find really important, and honestly, if you can figure out, it's going to solve all the problems really. Um, first and foremost, before I talk about vision casting, I just wanna to talk to you about your mind in regards to what you're, what you're doing. And, you know, one of the, the single most thing, uh, important things that you need to understand is that you're, you're not asking anybody to join your team for you. You are asking people to join the single most the, the smartest business on the planet, you're offering them happiness. I made a little list. Happiness, peace, sleep, contentment, fulfillment, purpose, and freedom. And you're selling happiness, okay? You are not offering them a kit of shampoo and a kit of skincare. Our products are amazing, but the best product that we have available to offer another human being is the business. The business is the best product that we have to offer, hands down, landslide victory. And you need to understand and see this business for what it is, which is the smartest business plan in the world, okay? And <clears throat> why do I say this? Because of all the things that Monate is, I'm not gonna go through them, this isn't like a meet Monate, right? You know all the good things. But what you need to really understand is from a business perspective, Outside of what Monate has to offer, there's no overhead. There's no monthly requirements. There are no employee costs. There's no rent. There's no bills. There's no insurance. And there are tax benefits. You cannot buy a brick and mortar business without spending a stupid amount of money and paying a stupid amount of bills, having a stupid amount of liability to maybe break even. And statistically speaking, you will not even touch money. And your business is probably going to fail if you do not make money within the first two years of that business, statistically speaking, okay? Um, for $250, you gain access to limitless income potential. That's Aaron, Aaron's favorite line. And yeah, limitless income potential is zero risk and it's fun. And you get to watch your people succeed too, right? And when you, when you climb the ladder and you do all the fun things and you're like, yeah, look at me go it only really starts to get fun until it's your friends going, holy crap, look at me go too, right? Um, and there's, there's zero downside. Um, business perspective, perspective, again, outside of Monate, what you need to understand is that 98% of North Americans are less than $200 a month away from bankruptcy. Your neighbors, your sister, your aunts, your, your cousins, the people you went to high school with are suffering. 98% of North Americans are less than $200 a month from bankruptcy. What does that mean? They're not sleeping at night. They're not paying their bills. They're obsessing about how they're gonna feed their kids. That's the reality of what you're dealing with. And this is the solution to all of those problems for a very limited cost. And if you're not understanding that, you're probably gonna struggle from a recruiting perspective because you, your mind's not right about what you're offering your friends and family. It's a gift. Um, and a large per percentage um, could not afford a $400 emergency without going into their credit card. And that's the reality. You're not the only person that's broke, guys. Everybody's broke, okay? Um, everybody is struggling. Um, how am I going to get out of debt? You know, these are all things that you really have to understand. I maxed my credit card and hit submit for the first time I paid. I had to move money to max my credit card to pay the $388. Okay, Julie Stevens took out a PayPal loan. Ask either of us if we regret any of those decisions. 
It's an astounding no, just in case you're wondering. Um, nothing changes if nothing changes. You know, I say all the time, this is a winning lottery ticket, you guys. I know my uh, one of my best friends, Keeks, has a winning, ca or no, winning, <laughs> a cash for life lottery ticket that she has framed that she will never scratch because we have something way better than winning a cash for life lottery ticket. It's way beyond, you know, $1,000 a week, way beyond, right? So there's no need to scratch it. Um, okay, vision casting, you guys. Vision casting, if you are not recruiting, you are, you're not, <laughs> okay, wait, if you are not recruiting, the fact of the matter is, is that you're really not getting people that you're talking to, to understand what it is you're offering. Because if, if somebody understands what it is that is on the table, they would never say no. So what you really have to do as a market partner and to get really good at vision casting is to ask specific questions, listen to the answer. Nobody is going to be and think exactly like you. So you have to ask specific questions. You have to, um, you know, what do you, what do you want to experience in your life? What does your dream day look like? Uh, what things are important to you to achieve before you die? Um, how would you like to live if money and situational things didn't hold you back? Who do you want to be? And who is your ideal self? I do this exercise with my, my team and I said, you know, close your eyes and I want you to envision and, and build your version of the ideal woman in your brain. What does she look like? What does she do? How does she behave? And if that vision of, of that woman in your mind isn't yourself, then that's what you need to do. You need to work on evolving into the best version of yourself because that's what all successful people do. In the, in the daily activity that they do, they step into the role of the successful person and they do the activity that that person does. Is she fit? Probably. So get fit. If you're struggling with, um, with that sort of thing and how you feel about yourself, making those things that are going to change how you feel in regards to confidence, making those changes and making it your purpose. Like Todd Duncan tells me all the time, when you make something your purpose, whether it be you wanna retire, you don't wanna send your kids to daycare, whatever it is, you have to find your purpose and you have to make this purposeful, okay? Um, so those are the questions that I really want you to think about. And when you're talking to somebody, ask them like when is the last time that you you know do you remember exactly when you gave up on the dreams that you had as a child growing up because I can promise you it wasn't because to go into work to do a job that you don't like to live a, a life of mediocrity where you can't sleep at night because you can't pay your bills and that's the reality of all of us um so provision casting uh, I should put my notes down and I'm going to talk okay vision casting how to do it I thought I just heard my daughter. How to do it well, you guys. If you want to vision cast for somebody, ask the questions and tell the story. So I'm going to tell you my story in an effort to do some vision casting for you guys. Okay, so married, three kids, left that situation, ended up as a rescue specialist with the Canadian Coast Guard, making enough money that I didn't qualify for legal aid, um, but I couldn't afford a lawyer or I couldn't feed my kids, okay? So I ended up not getting support from my spouse who, who does very well because if you can't do it legally, it, it's, it's too much. And I ended up homeless for three years with three kids. And I lived on a ship and when I was not on a ship, I was in my parents' basement, two and a half, two hours, two and a half hours away from where my kids lived with their dad. I would have to drive to their school and go home. And I had my car repoed. I, I couldn't, there were so many times where I couldn't even get a Timmy's coffee or a Starbucks. Timmy's is even a lot cheaper than Starbucks. Um, 
you know, and I had to drive away because I didn't have enough money in my bank account to buy a coffee. And, you know, the sad reality is, is that I know that that's most of us still. And, you know, enter Monate and social selling. I, I own two houses. I own a, a condo in a Cabo, condo in Cabo. I always mix that up. And there are, mo there are no mortgages in Mexico, you guys. You pay those things in full American dollars. Um, the Range Rovers in my driveway, I have the Cadillac Escalade still. I have a BMW convertible and an old Jeep Grand Cherokee. And then I just bought my daughter a, ki uh, a car as well. I've got two of my older children in university. My one's in economics, one's going to be a teacher. And then my son was just accepted to mechanical engineering. And then I have a four-year-old. <clears throat> My four-year-old was the reason that I couldn't sail anymore because after three years of fertility treatments and losing six babies, I couldn't risk uh, that. So I ended up on leave without pay after 21 years of service um, and no sick leave because of all the losses that I had. So, you know, um, Finding uh, a really strong why is important and figuring out your purpose as it relates to this business is really what's going to change everything. And when you, know, you can look back at my journey and understand that it doesn't matter where you came from, it doesn't matter how you acted, it doesn't matter if you were the queen of bad decisions like myself, um, this can be you know, your way out. More recently, and something that I'm really going to struggle to talk about is um, I um, uh, I found messages. Um, I had a dream. I had a dream. Um, and I, I actually reached out to Jessica Buick Melvin about this because I saw where her husband was cheating on her in her story. And I had a dream that night and I woke up and I thought, hmm, that's weird. That must have just tweaked me. And I went and I checked my spouse's 10 years phone and I found multiple messages to numerous prostitutes setting up appointments. And this is very recent for me. And, uh, and then digging deeper, I found a premium Tinder account and he left that day. He would not leave me alone and the situation wasn't improving for me. So I, I ended up going to the police station and, and finally filing a report of four and a half years of domestic violence that included um, choking, strangulation. Like it's been very bad for me. And it started with my success in this company because ultimately it challenged his, his ego. The more successful that I got, uh, the more difficult and the more controlling he got. I had to get up at three o'clock in the morning to do my work and to do my passion and my purpose. So, you know, the I don't have a supportive, supportive spouse doesn't fly with me because I got to senior executive director when I was not allowed to work and I was not allowed to be on my phone. And I suffered through um, many years of a lot of very damaging um, things so that, uh, you know, I could be here. And now because of my business, I, I I have the means to defend myself. I have the ability to protect myself. I, you know, I just, I really feel like it's important to um, talk openly about this, the more I go along with it, because I know that, um, I know that it happened to me so that I can help other people through this situation. And like, I still have, a lot of PTSD um, and fear and, you know, but I know that 
it was put on me so that I could help other people and talk about, you know, what this business can do, no matter what your situation is and what your life is. And, you know, you have to, you have to understand that when you're talking to people, like maybe think about my situation, where would I be? Where would I be, you know, if I, if I didn't have what I have, if I didn't have the support, you guys, most of my closest friends now are because of this community and the support that I have from a corporate level, corporate level down to, you know, people who are just meeting me for the first time and reaching out for, to me, you know, and I've been talking about it on my Instagram, which is just at Stacy J. Heidman. And I talk about, you know, battered woman syndrome and things like that so that I can use that platform. And you know, one other thing you guys, I really want to point out, you don't have to have any sort of special social media things. When I started, I had hardly any followers. I still don't have a lot of followers. And I don't think I've ever signed a customer from Instagram. <laughs> and I'm a senior executive director, right? So it can look different for everybody. Um, you know, and when you're talking and you're doing vision casting, practice your story, you know, maybe it's not a, a matter of domestic violence and homelessness, you know, but, but maybe you get to buy organic foods if that's important to you, or, or maybe you get to pay for your kids hockey and not dip into your mortgage. You know, that's the reality of the situation. And that's where it starts until you have a defining moment. You know, October 15th, 2017 was a defining moment for me when I, I started working the month before that. And my check was over four figures. And I thought, holy crap, like this is actually something. And then I hit the Cadillac rent the month after that. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on right now with the um, trip qualifications. When I was first joining the company and the Bermuda trip was on, I actually made a post. This is so cool. My upline will be going on this trip <laughs> because I didn't expect to go. I didn't expect to succeed. And I went on that cruise as a director. Like not like six months later, I went, I was an MMB when I qualified and I went as a director because once you have a defining moment and if you don't have a defining moment yet, latch on to mine because I'm no different <laughs> and no different at all. And I was terrible at this. I'm still terrible at this. John Maxwell will tell you that if you do not look back on what you did a year ago and cringe, you haven't grown. So don't be afraid to look stupid, you know? Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Just try, you know? Just do your best and don't let yourself down. Ed Milet told me once that being an entrepreneur will show the world what you're made of. And when he said that, I was walking my daughter and I literally fist pumped and cheered in the air like, well, hey, <laughs> I must've looked crazy, but yeah, it's like the first time I didn't let myself down. I didn't give up too early. I didn't give up on the dream. I just stuck with it. And, you know, you have to act like a director to be a director. So if you're not progressing, you're not doing a specific activity that you need to be doing. And we have all the tools, you guys. I'm not going to talk about IPAs and things like that because we all say the same damn thing because it's the truth. Do the power hours. Try. You'll, you'll succeed develop your craft, do the training, do the personal development and use this opportunity and turn it into your passion and your purpose. And when you do that and you help others, that's, that's how you break the Monate game. You help others, you get good at it. They get good at it. You win the game of life. <laughs> and that's it guys. That's how you do it. You tell a story, you know, tell my story, tell somebody's story. Get to know your people, be specific. You know, if you have a stylist, you know, or a former stylist or something like, get them on to Jess Gillis or, you know, figure something out and, and just 
make sure you listen and you answer their call. Okay, so that's that's how you do it. <laughs> that's it. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Stacy, for man opening up to us, sharing your story. And guys, I I I think she said it best. And the thing that I think I screw up with when I do this sharing of my story or sharing and asking about people's lives is I don't get specific. I'll ask them the vague general questions. I might tell them my story, but unless you go deep in your story, like Stacy just did an amazing job sharing. And we love you, Stacy, by the way. Um, I, <laughs> I, I met you in the Caymans and I fell in love with you right then we sat there and talked for dinner and it, it made a big impact for me and after Roxy passed I know I reached out to you as one of the first people that helped me um, get my business going and things like that um, yeah but but being specific I think is the key takeaway for me here when I when I talk to people I need to to go way deeper into the specifics of what it is, what are the options for their beautiful life? You know what I mean? And if you paint that picture for them, I think, and listen, I think you'll be much better off. So any, yeah, any, you gotta, any other you just got to figure it out. You, and you have to be a really good listener and care, you know, take an interest. Like, you know, what, like, what, what do you want? What, like, have, when's the last time any of us, really sat down and thought like if I could do anything in a day what would it look like what it, like if, if you money wasn't an option you know and what and, and it's going to change like I, I like nice things right but you know what I'm after I'm after calm I'm after making my home my happy place and my my peace and my hot yoga room in my home and we're getting up and working out like literally looking after myself and looking after my daughter is what I do full time. And I do it because I work my business, right? And it doesn't have to be, you don't have to be after, um, you know, fancy things. You can be too. Like if you want Louis Vuitton and, and Jimmy Choo shoes, have at her. This is the easiest way to do that. <laughs> you know, um, so the, it just, whatever it is that you want. And, you know, guys, I really want to talk real quick about money. Everybody at the end of the day is doing this for money. And that's not a bad thing. Okay. We get afraid to talk about money. Like, ooh, it's a dirty word. You can't want more money. You can't live without money. You can't survive without money. You can't sleep at night without money. You can't feed your kids. You can't do life without money. It's okay to want more. And it's okay to want a lavish lifestyle and to take your kids on vacations. That doesn't make you a bad person or selfish or anything like that. You should want those things. You should go after those things because this is access to those things. So why would you not do it? Right? Like, anyways, that's it. <laughs> Again, <laughs> I can go off on a tangent. But it's okay. Yeah. Anybody have any questions? I got to look at the chat too. Yeah. Well, they're loving on you in the chat, Stacey. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you, you've got a lot of support here in all of Monet. A lot uh, of love for you. Yeah. Anybody have any questions or just want to share some love? They're going to go to Mexico with you. I think they want to do some hot yoga. <laughs> Yeah, well, let me know if you want to go to the Cabo condo. I have free time now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Stacy, for really pouring into us. It really means a lot to me to yeah. have you on and share. And I can't well, wait to see you. I can't wait to see you in a few weeks. That's exciting <sighs> for me. Um, and uh, thanks for coming on and sharing with everybody. Thanks for asking me. Love you guys. Right. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.